back again to grocery app using Flutter part 2. So in the previous part 1 video we were discussing regarding the creation of a splash screen as well as a get started page for this app. Hope you all remember that. And in this video we shall be discussing regarding the creation of dashboard for this app. And as usual before entering into the coding part let us have a glimpse regarding the UI and the widgets what we will be developing in this video. Starting from the top, you could see this icon, this container for search items and this basket is entirely wrapped inside a row widget and for the search item, I have just bounded this text and this icon inside the container where I have given the container color as some kind of grey and inside that container, I will be having a child which is a row which contains this text widget and the icon. So this entire thing is uh, uh, I have just placed it in the app bar and uh, wherein I have just specified the app bar color as transparent and also set the elevation as zero so that it won't be looking somewhat in weird from the rest of the screen. Then followed by which we will be having this top sellers which is the second child or the first child for the body which is wrapped inside a row which contains this text and this text widget and the second text especially is a row which contains this see more text and the icon and followed by which we will be having this carousel slider which I have just wrapped the image over the clipboard rect widget more specifically just to have a smooth curve over the sides and I have also specified the offers and the item description and the promo code and I have just placed it over the image using the stack widget followed by which we will be having these three categories most popular and other that is it is again wrapped inside a row widget and if you just go on into the category folder then you will be getting these cards which I have just provided a single cell scroll view option and more specifically I will be using list view builder to just uh, build over these widgets so I won't be writing individual codes a single code which will be just rendering all the widgets what I have specified over here and talking about this container this container is actually wrapped inside a card so the container will be the hierarchy would be like the container followed by the card so I have just specified different colors for the card as well as the card boundary and inside that card I will be having the first child which is in a row wise manner so you could see the text press fruits and this icon so it is actually in a row followed by the second child which is the image itself so the card will be having a column and the first child for the column will be a row and the second child is an image and all other things just imitate the same as the first so you could have a scrolling option and that's it hope you all got a good overview regarding the widgets what we have used for developing this UI and with that idea let us now start with the coding part now as usual inside the scaffold we will be having or we will be first developing an app bar for this uh, dashboard page and the app bar will be consisting of the menu icons as well as the search bar so I will be first giving the color as transparent and what we need to provide is next is the elevation followed by which we will be providing the title inside this title is what we will be having the row which contains all those three as we discussed before so the title will be having a row and let us set the main axis alignment as well as main axis alignment or space between and the row to take the children widget which is in which the first the icon which is icons dot menu
let me also provide a few other details as the size for the icon as well as the color and with this i think we will be developing the ant on the icon we have record that now let us just start building the search items a container so it's actually a container as i discussed before and we will be providing the fixed height for the container which is 30 followed by the width as well which is based on the media query and after providing the width we shall also provide some decoration as well which is the box decoration for the container you say that box decoration is what we will be providing the border radius I want a circular border radius so I am giving a border radius of the circular with a value of 10 and I will be providing a color as colors.gray for that container and more specifically I want Rate 350 would be good. Format it and after providing the color, let us just start providing the children for the container, which is the search text as well as that lens icon, what you have seen before. So, the child for the container is again a row and Again, we shall set the main axis alignment as well. I want space between, and this will take the children widget, which is the text first, which is the search search item, and you could also specify the style using the text style. Where I'll be providing the color as colors dot white and font size you can specify as something something would be good. Okay, so we just got that one over here. Now we shall just develop that or uh, we shall just provide that icon. Icons dot search and here I will put the size as 25. Now uh, I think we will be getting that icon now. Yeah, we got that. So this is somewhat at the corners. So let us just provide space around. Let's see how it looks. If we only want to oh, okay. okay, let's have space between us. Okay, now um, we have just developed that search container and let us just end the dialogue with the creation of the last basket that is the shopping basket. It's again an icon which takes the icons or shopping basket and let us provide the size as well. In our case, let me provide it as 25 pixels and color as colors dot e power and descent. Okay. Let me just check that out. Yeah, we got on that. Now we have just completed the app bar. So now we just enter into the body. So inside that body, we will be having or we will be providing a single cell scroll view option. And the first child, what I will be specifying is the padding. So I just want a gap 
so first let's define the padding i just don't want all i just want edge inside the symmetrical just horizontal again 10 okay now after providing the padding let us have a child for the padding this the column widget and the column widget will take the children widget which is okay the first child for that column is the container container takes the child which is again a column just format it and inside that column we will be providing a row so this this row contains the children widget that is the top cell as a free more text what we have seen before so let's just define that Absolutes and we should apply style as well using the text style wherein I will be providing the font size as 22 followed by the font weight I just want that to be what bolder so just want it as font weight or bold now after specifying that let us just create another row which take the children widget and inside this children widget is what we will be developing the stream over and that arrow icon so it is again a row in our case and that row will be taking the children widget which is the text three more followed by an icon and start navigating okay, next yeah let me provide the size as well which is 25 This will be entering into the creation of the first child. So now we have just made that to be in a column wise manner. And this is not column, it's row, I think. Let's check it out. And we just need to specify this over here. We'll be having column or the container and again a row. So why do we need to specify two rows over here? Just uh, so this remove this. Right. it will work yeah. so actually you will be having a column followed by a container which takes this row widget this is the top cellus and same more okay now let us just jump out of that for now Okay, let's just draw the spacing and now let's start developing the carousel slider. Uh, the carousel slider using the carousel slider widget. I just want to develop it manually. Let us use carousel slider to build it. And the builder takes the list of these parameters, which is the item count. And in our case, the item count we have already specified with the number of images what we have provided in the 
separate that file as discussed in the previous part one so it is horizontal cart image images and just need to for that and which takes the item builder here in our case let us specify the builder as well which is builder context which takes the context and the index okay. so what's all is demo volume and type and does into parameter so what this basic thing is nothing but we just want a return type so let us provide it as well so it will be returning a container wherein the container will be having the child with the stack and the stack will be taking the children widget where we will be specifying the first child which is again a container followed by the child and before that let us provide a width for that container which is jaipuri uh, dot width minus 40 and after providing the width we shall also provide the child which is the card so we say this card is what we will be having that image as well. The card will be providing the color as transparent. The image itself will be having a background color, so we'll be providing the color as zero and transparent elevation as zero, color is transparent and elevation as zero. And for the card, let us provide a child which is a container again. The container will be taking the child which is the clip for rect widget so i have been using this clip for rect just in order to have a clear or smooth edge over that image so i just don't want that soft borders so i will be using clip for rect and so you could see the container Followed by the clip or rec, where we'll be specifying the border radius, which is border radius dot circular of let me give the value of pi for matic. And I just want that to be wrapped inside the center widget. Okay. Now after providing the border radius a circular, let us specify the child which is image dot asset of in our case it is horizontal card images same as this one so let us specify that and provide the index and I just want that to have a box fit box dot fill will be good I think and we can also specify the width which is the maximum width it could take however we have already specified the constraint at the top of adding as 10 so hope it will be like something so we have to provide the options so let us just Provide it, and before that, we shall just need to provide the offers as well. And um, uh, 
will be using polar widget for that and let's set the main axis alignment as main axis alignment dot and just want that to be at the bottom as well as the cross axis alignment as cross axis alignment that start at the bottom left more specifically and this column will be taking the children widget and the children widget is nothing but the offer code and the promo code before that let us have a size box and this with a height something okay just a simple gap at the top okay and let us provide a container things the decoration first let's go the decoration this is just the background that is the white okay this is the box decoration in the box decoration we will be providing the border radius in the border radius as border radius or circular where the value will be floating okay now uh, you can also provide the color for that as colors dot white so this is nothing but the background background container wherein we will be providing the offers and the promo code and in this container this container will take the child which is the text in our case it is offer values i think okay offer values and let's just say the index as well followed by the style which is the text style where i will be providing the font size as 20 followed by the color i just want that to be color dot red so for the white background red would be somewhat more attractive and you can also specify the font weight just want that to be bold as well okay now you can just complete creating a single offer that is the offer value for the percentage or whatever it's let's say the text i think you just need to specify it over here also i uh, think this need to specify out of the container right so we have just specified the offer percentage now we shall just specify the item description so it is same as this i just copy paste it so now okay which is it takes and the change in offer values here in our case it is offers alone of index and all the things is same and just basically it is 15 okay so we have just specified again a single that is the item description so we said just need to copy this again to provide the promo code where i have just specified it in offer code of course yeah now we are developing that carousel slider as well as the image description and the promo code and offer code now let's just end up creating so we are specifying it as three right this three would be good i think can be more and after ending this let us have again a spacing and this time let us provide this okay now that is the option so it's time to provide options which is erosial options yeah
stinks auto play i just want that to keep scrolling without any human intervention so just put it as auto play is true and young lad center page i just don't want that okay and view port fraction i'll be setting as 0 0.9 and aspect ratio i'll be specifying as 2 and initial page as usual is 0 so you could get these parameters over here so you could see these are the list of parameters it takes auto play curve everything auto play initial everything so you could just browse over that and you just reference yeah so we will be getting this half of all everything and it uh, plays automatically auto plays it is true okay so okay just develop the carousel slider now let us just start developing the remaining part of the screen only the app is getting saved so now uh, after that we'll be having again a sized box just a simple gap okay i just want after providing that we'll be having the row so this row will be taking the list of categories most popular and all those things i just want that to be space no space even it will be good okay. and that row will be taking the children widget okay good so the children widget would be like the text widget and the first text is categories followed by sorry where we are playing the style first which is the text sorry text style wherein I will be providing the font size as 20 somewhat moderate oh sorry style I was just font size is somewhat 20 to be good followed by the font weight I just want that to be a little bolder okay so font weight also we have just specified and this time instead of creating or specifying the height we will be providing the width because it is a row so we will be providing the width and again the same as that of the top right there or most popular and here I will be specifying an extra parameter as color also dot gray out more specifically 400 be good looking Let's see. Okay. And I just want that to be normal. I just don't want that to be bold. Normal would be good. Hope we will be getting. I just want to change that wording alone. Okay. Yeah. We have almost completed the half of the screen. So we are just in the second part and developing the screen, which is the cars. So we'll just develop that one.
again as usual provide the size in the box size so just want that to be placed think it will be something over here after that too okay. I'll be providing again single child school view specifically for this class so this single child school view will be taking a child which is container and that container will be having a height which is media query dot off of context dot size dot dot height uh, zero point four okay. okay this is the height and after that it is wide with the child which is expanded expander will be taking the child which is the list view builder itself okay and the list view builder will be taking the item builder and before that we need to specify the item count also the item count will be taking arguments dot length okay and inside this item builder and same as the carousel builder we will be providing the context as well as the index okay and what will be returning is the row so let us consider that row as a set of two containers that is the left and right so let us just specify the children widget that is the first left container of the card whatever so which is in case of the container followed by the card the container let us specify the width again the media coding by 2 and let us just reduce so I provided the width as well now let's specify the height okay this which is in our case 100 and so what's wrong with this is okay after setting the width and height let us now so I think something we just left out so it's not formatting yes error over here and so followed by this context builder and this is under now we have just provided the height and it's time for the child for the container which is the card and the card will be having a shape we will be providing the shape which is rounded rectangular ball I think yeah there we go so when we say that round rectangular border we will be pouring the border radius which is again border radius dot circular with the value for the circular is something 1.5 Voting it as okay. 
schematic. After following the border radius, it is also provide the side, which is the other side that is the border thickness. And here we'll be providing the color. This colors are left. of index colors you can write with this you need to encode that back in your file and just provide the mouse We have just provided the border color alone and we haven't covered the thickness, right? So let me give it a stroke. Now we have just specified the border color. So it's time for developing the children of the text what we need to have inside that card. Okay, so let us provide the color. Or the card which is card colors text of index. So these are all the text dot file that we will be using for the colors. I just specified explicitly the color values over there. So you could see. Cars, the border radius with the width of two pixels and the color as well. So I can provide elevation for the car, which is five. And give it and take the child, which is the column widget, and the column will be having the children widget, wherein we'll be providing the first child. Before that, we'll be having the the gap which is the height value let me speak it as two and the first child is a row which will be taking then before providing the children widget let me provide the main access alignment in our case it stays between will be good and let us let's specify the children also the children and as usual, let's have a gap. Width of 10 pixels. And now we can just develop the child, which is as we said, a flexible widget. The flexible will be taking a child, which is the text. Wherein we will be the text value. I have also defined that as you know, that is item name left index and for the text as well we can apply style in the text style where we will be providing the color as colors dot black as well as the font size let me set it as 16 followed by the font weight I just want that a bit bolder okay with this font Names to be your the corners. Anyway, we can correct that. Now let us provide an icon. Also, we it next. And the size will be providing as twenty-seven. And the color is.
border color is left of index known as that border color okay you could see okay we got an icon over there now we shall just specify or just build that image okay for that we just need to jump out of this row and again a flexible widget which takes the child as image dot asset of the location which is vertical image so The image is again not wrong for now. So, specific uh, check out here the images vertical card. So, where in the corner is that? Vertical card images left. Okay. And we can also specify the box fit. Here I'll be specific box fit dot cover. Okay. And I'll be specifying the width, which is India forty dot for context dot size code with minus twenty five and we want that to be half of that and that and they think minus twenty five again. The first that would be somewhat appropriate for the screen yeah so we can just develop this card so the left part is just completed so we just um, move on to the right side part okay so right side part would be i think would be the same as that of left with small changes in the file names alone so we can also specify that as well so the change would be over here right right uh, and Just change everything to right order with a specific left. That's it. And it to going. Okay. Yeah. So now we've got the house both left and right side. So we are just. That's it. We can just develop this as board. Okay. Nice, nice working the single child scroll view option as well. So we have the entire scrolling option as well as the individual scrolling option for this one. Okay, so that's it, guys. So if you like this video, give a like and just take.